Welcome back to Mason Talks. So we are getting very close to the start of Cleveland Browns training camp and the start of the NFL preseason, and I am very excited. I have never been this excited for a preseason in my entire life. Like, I cannot wait for football, even if it's the dumb, meaningless games where we see 90% of the backups, all that. Like, I just can't wait. I cannot wait to see some Cleveland Browns football. 2019 is the most excited I have ever been for a Cleveland Browns team ever in my whole life. Like, this is this is the most anticipation I have ever felt about the Cleveland Browns. I am very excited. I am very optimistic. I think the Browns can be a really good team in the NFL this season. But that does not mean that I have no concerns. I definitely still have some questions about this Cleveland Browns team. There's still some there's still a hint of concern and there's there's still a few things that I have questions about and there's one that's bigger than the rest, one concern that has has had my attention for a little while that's that's bigger than the others and that big concern is the offensive line. Now, I am not freaking out about the Browns offensive line. I don't think it's a I don't think it's a massive huge problem, but I definitely have some questions. I definitely think that the offensive line is a big question mark. Now, if you look at the players that we have protecting our quarterback and trying to open lanes for our running backs. From left to right, you have Greg Robinson, Joel Batonio, J.C. Treader, Austin Corbett, and Chris Hubbard. Now, I think that, you know, Joel Batonio obviously is one of the best guards in the league. He's going to be a pro bowler. He's going to be, he's going to be the best guy on that offensive line. But other than, other than Joel Batonio and maybe J.C. Treader, that's a big line filled with question marks. That's an offensive line filled with uncertainty and, are, and really an unpredictable offensive line. Like, I don't know what we're going to get from those guys. Like, if you look at our left tackle, Greg Robinson, the left tackle, supposed to be the most important position on that line. That's the guy that protects your quarterback the whole game. That's the guy who has his back. That is what a lot of people consider the second most important position on the offense, second only to the quarterback, the guy that protects the quarterback. And I don't have 100% confidence in Greg Robinson. I am not going to, going to say that I can believe in him fully to consistently game in and game out, be at his best, and be be worthy of, you know, being that starting left tackle. I don't know what we're going to get from him. The start of his career was the peak. Like, getting drafted second overall by the Rams, it's been all downhill since then. He hasn't been able to consistently be the starting left tackle for the team. He was with the Rams, then he was with Detroit, now he's with the Browns, and he played good enough last year to earn a second contract with Cleveland. But he hasn't been consistent in any way, shape, or form throughout his whole career. I don't know what we're going to get from Greg Robinson this upcoming season. I don't know if we're going to get somebody who's consistently good. I don't know if we're going to get somebody who is a, is a bust and shows why he hasn't been able to stick with the team. I don't know what we're getting with Greg Robinson. And that concerns me a little bit. And then, you know, obviously, Joel Batonio, I have confidence in him. J.C. Treader, he's a, he's a solid center. But then you get to the right guard, where you have Austin Corbett, who couldn't start last year, even though he was a second-round pick. He couldn't find a way to get into the, into the offensive line. Like, the initial plan was to have Joel Batonio at left tackle and Austin Corbett at left guard. And Austin Corbett wasn't good enough for that. They had to they had to switch it around and move move uh, uh, Joel Batonio back to guard. And then they started Desmond Harrison. Think about that. Desmond Harrison was was considered a better option for starting on the offensive line over Austin Corbett. Austin Corbett has the potential to be really good. I mean, there's a reason that John Dorsey drafted him in the second round, but it does concern me that he wasn't able to get on the field last year at any point. That concerns me a little bit. I don't know if he's going to be a great starting right guard. 
I don't know. That's another question mark. And then you go to right tackle, Chris Hubbard. <laughs> like, I'm not meg I'm not super overjoyed that we have Chris Hubbard as our right tackle. I mean, he's fine. He's 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 solid. He's okay. He did a he did a solid job last year. But he's nothing to celebrate about. The Browns offensive line is filled with question marks. And we also don't have a lot of depth. There we didn't we didn't really go out of our way to add solid depth to the offensive line in the offseason, which is a little bit concerning. Now, I'm not going to freak out about the offensive line. I, th- I I think there's a chance that they could be really good. Who knows? Maybe Greg Robinson continues his good play. Maybe Austin Corbett takes a huge step from year one to year two. Maybe, but I don't know. That's why the Browns offensive line, in my opinion, is the biggest question mark on this roster because we just don't know what we're going to get. And that's a little bit concerning, but I'm not going to flip out. I still have major confidence in the Cleveland Browns. I'm still really excited for training camp and for the preseason. And I just can't wait to finally get this season underway and see what Baker Mayfield and the crew can really do and see how well they can, you know, tear up the NFL. But let me know in the comments, what is your confident level, confidence level in this offensive line? Are you concerned about it at all or are you not worried about it? Just let me know in the comments, what do you think of the Cleveland Browns offensive line? Thanks for listening to the Mason Talk Sports Show. I will see you in my next episode. Goodbye.